let's see how to set up Jenkins on a Mac OS. So as per the official document, we have two types of uh, Jenkins. One is LTS, another one is weekly. We're going to stick with the long term support on Mac OS. And the document that here that says Jenkins can be installed using the Homebrew package manager. We will come to what Homebrew is all about. For now, let's look at the commands below. So we're going to use brew install Jenkins LTS and brew services start Jenkins LTS. These two commands will be used to install the Jenkins in this video. So now let's go to Homebrew. What is Homebrew? So it's the package manager for Mac OS. In a layman term, it's like an app store that we have where we download the softwares. Using Homebrew, we're going to install the Jenkins and so many other packages that we need to run, which is not available in the app store. So you can think like that so using this you're gonna install the homebrew first on your machine so just copy that command and go to terminal paste that command so this is to install the homebrew hit enter as soon as you hit enter all the installations will go on it would take some time so once it's successfully installed you would be asked to run three more commands to set up the environmental variables for the brew app so the homebrew is to install the jenkins keep that in mind all this uh, setups will enable you to set up the environmental variables for that so that your macbook would know where the brew is so as soon as this is installed we will see whether the environment variable successfully set up or not as well as we will see the brew version so you should see what the brew version is only then you can confirm the homebrew is successfully uh, set up or not so once this is done let's do brew help to understand what are all the brew commands that we can work on so we have install we have update we have config all sorts of things we have many commands here now let's jump and understand how to uh, see where the environment variables is there so it's in the dot z profile so let's go ahead and write the command for the dot z profile and uh, type it as open hyphen e and dot z profile and that would open the file where the environmental variable is set up for the brew the one you can see here um, on the screen so now let's go check the version number brew hyphen hyphen version and that gives the version number as 3.6.4 which is the brew version number and now let's install the jenkins brew install jenkins hyphen lts the first command that we saw at the start of this video so once this installation is done we're going to start the jenkins server so this is only installing the jenkins so once this is done we would see on which port that this is installed and on which ip address that this is installed all sorts of things and then we're going to start the jenkins server so let's wait until it's finished its process so now you can see it's completed now we're gonna run the Jenkins uh, services so let's run brew services start Jenkins so this is where we are actually starting the Jenkins and you can see Jenkins is successfully started so it's Jenkins LTS so now what we're gonna do we're gonna launch this on a browser using the local host which the HTTP port that you see here which is 8080 in my case so open the browser type localhost 8080 in my case you couldn't see this it's because my local host is already occupied with the apache tomcat so in that case i'm going to stick with the uh, http listen address which is 127.0.0 so as you can see with, if i tried with 127.0.0 it works it's because i have used the uh, http um, address that you can see here but in your case it would work if your 8080 port is not occupied with the local host so you don't have to worry about that you just stick with localhost um, colon 8080 otherwise you can also use 127.0.0 uh, um, so it would work so in my case uh, it works with 127 and now the ne next task is to get the initial admin password this is the screen you see initially so now you have to get the admin password uh, go to this path and copy the admin password and paste it here let's see how to do that now just copy this command go to your uh, terminal let's open the terminal and over here you can type as um, the you, you want to read it so it's cat cat space and the command so this is the linux command we have to read the file so when you read the file you can see the uh, admin password just copy the password and then paste it there click continue you have to save this password somewhere safe in case you need it for your future work on jenkins if something goes wrong so keep it safe uh, somewhere in the notepad um, I got this error but it went away as soon as I refreshed it uh, you may you may not see this error so 
uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try refreshing and see if it's uh, if it's got, if it's getting launched again. So let me do and try refresh. Okay, okay, I, okay. I have I, it was because there was a web app at the, at the end of the URL, so I have to remove that. So now it's lo it's launched, and this is the second screen that we all should see. Now I'm gonna go with install suggested plugins. So let's install the suggested plugins. So it would take some time. So the plugins will install one by one so these are all the necessary plugins like pipeline git add um, uh, gradle ssh and email extension so all sorts of the default plugins that are necessary in the uh, jenkins so let it install so i'm gonna fast forward so that we don't have to wait in this video so once this is done you're gonna get the username password and then your email address so fill all those details make sure you note down these passwords because these are very important for your future jenkins work if you forget then it'd be like another another big process to forget password and then reset your jenkins so better keep it uh, save somewhere so i'm going to give the password and then i'm going to give the confirm uh, password i'm going to retype the password again then i'm going to do the full name and then my email address right so once once i enter my email address i'm going to do click save and continue save and continue and here i get the option to I have my Jenkins custom URL. Um, I'm going to change it to the URL that I think would look good on my case. So I'm going to just tweak this URL a little bit for my convenience. I'm going to name it as my name and then Jenkins. Okay, I, put, I shouldn't put the colon in between my name and the Jenkins. So it should be like I may change it to underscore and click on save and finish. that's it so jenkins is ready now you can click on start using jenkins and create your first just give allow okay and you can create your new item and go ahead and start running your build so yeah thanks for watching this video